What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to Golem. This is the 1.02 patch in PSVR on a PS4 Pro. As always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher. And I normally don't do this kind of video, but they made some pretty significant changes that I do like a whole lot, so I'm here to discuss those changes. Number one being the inclusion of being able to use the nav controller. A thing that I bought right before VR came out in the hopes and in with the promise that devs would use it and then nobody used it. So I can now use this controller to walk around. And they did fine tune the other controls which is hold trigger and lean forward ever so slightly. But for me I'm not a fan of motion control movement so I like direct one to one movement with an analog stick that's just fine. You still have the turning when you turn to look, but you also have your, you know, good old-fashioned blink turn is fine. And so, let's look at the option menu here. You have the options for adaptive turning. Uh, I left it on slow here, but you can turn it off completely. Uh, but I think slow is fantastic uh, and works just fine for me. You have your different options of degrees for quick turn. So I keep it cranked on 60. Honestly, I prefer 90, but it is what it is. Uh, you can turn on and off the blink turn. You can change your dominant hand for all you people with left hands out there that want to use your left hand to use the move controller. And that's some good stuff. These are my current options. They've said there are more patches coming that might add more options from that. So let's hop in here to a little bit more of Golem in this new patch. So if you notice my controller perhaps getting a little bit freaky, it's because this green screen here can cause some issues with move tracking and VR. But I found slow and for the turning uh, to work out real well with the nav controller. And I was using the DualShock previously when we, we had recorded Perplexing Pixels. Go watch that video. So that's what I had used to play the whole time. But I hadn't even considered that anyone would add nav support in 20... Guys up here. In 2019. So kudos for adding nav support in this calendar year because almost nobody's doing that because who has these? Mine was in a drawer. I had to charge it before even do doing this video here. So yeah, that guy's gonna be an issue. And I don't need you to be an issue, sir. Sir! That's my hand, sir! I don't appreciate that. I think I just hit my, my microphone here. So if I knock into stuff here, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again, I have a very small space here to record with a VR and a green screen, and it's kind of an issue. Kind of an issue. But yes, the one thing I think that VR devs don't get enough credit for is how quickly they patch and add things as far as comfort options to their games. Uh, it is impressive. Very impressive. So, I see it a lot. Now, there's a guy I haven't beat in here yet that has been the bane of my existence with this freaking mace. I haven't beat him yet, so I would like to beat him, if at all possible, and go that way. I haven't... Bro, chill. I haven't done it yet, so... I'm getting better at this game. Bit by bit. Little by little. I'm getting better. And I want... I missed. And I want to win! Oh, no! I have a better gemstone here. They said if you get even better gemstones, you can actually increase your movement speed, which was also one of my complaints that I want faster movement in VR, but they explained it's it's the world streaming. It's how the game streams the world in, so that's kind of a limitation in what you can do. So, uh, I get that. Believe me, I do. Come on, just die! Ah. Uh. I backed off because I wasn't sure he was going to try to hit me again. And I didn't want to... The diagonals are what... Come on, bro. I can't block that fast. Screw you, man. Screw you. It's the diagonals that get you. And the... that was too fast. That was too fast. They said they're not going to adjust the difficulty. And in fact, they might add a hard mode. Which is cool. Finally! I got your mace. Give me your ultra-powerful gem. I need that. Thank you much. Okay. Making some progress here in Golem. It is not an easy game, nor should it be. So, 
I can definitely appreciate games in VR that are difficult. Uh, so kudos on that. Hey, look, another mace. Give me... It's way over there. It's way over there. Let me go get it and say, hey, give me that mace. It looks fancy. It looks powerful. And I am all about that. So what is over a Disa way? Can I go in here? I can. Can I get some dialogue here? I can. Golems come in many sizes, you know. And bigger isn't always better. Okay, that's good to know. Anyhow, so if you were waiting, there, there's the little guy to go explore with the little guy. And since I can't use that door, I gotta use the little guy. So, do some of this here. Get this little guy here who has no sword, only a flashlight deal. And say, hey, I'm over here now, and I have to go explore over here now. See, there, there's me, and uh, now I'm tiny. Now I am so small, and I can't do things that a big guy could do. Get up the... Can I knock off these stairs? Or is I should be on this thing here? Yep. I'm too stupid. What else is new? So yes, if you had seen the original coverage of Golem on a lot of channels, and thought, man, if only they added other stuff... And that other stuff includes some fine-tuning and some nav support and that whole bit of business. Well, guess what? They've definitely done that, so certainly go check it out if you would. I think it is a very fun VR game, and I've been, been enjoying it quite a bit. So here's the door that's closed that I currently can't get through. And look at this. I'm just going to do this here. I'm going to do this here and open this door. And once I've opened the door, now I can hold the under start button and go back to the big guy. That's the door is open now. That's the important part. So yes, Golem PSVR uh, patch 1.02 is awesome, and uh, I'm enjoying it much more and getting much better at the game. Which you know, practice makes perfect. But I'm sure. It's still going to whoop on me some more uh, as I make more progress throughout the game uh, because that's kind of how the game works. Is you get better and better as you learn the patterns and all that good stuff and search out whatever you're searching out here in this mythical city as such. Anyhow, I'm a tax lug. Thanks for watching more videos on this channel. More VR hopefully soon on this channel. And more, you know, good times! on this channel, so please tune in for those, and peep the videos, if you will. But I'll see, give me the, but I'll see you next time, right here, and I'm out.